CompTIA A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.3 Compare and Contrast Protocols for Wireless Networking. 802.11 The first Wi Fi standard came about in 1997 with the introduction of the IEEE 802.11 standard. With Wi Fi, we could now connect to the Internet and communicate with each other without the need for physical cables. And over the past few decades, this has completely transformed the way we live and work. So let's briefly journey through the evolution of Wi-Fi as we explore the timeline of 802.11 standards that have shaped the wireless connectivity we know today. After the most basic 802.11 standard was released in 1997, demand skyrocketed and newer, more robust Wi-Fi standards were needed. So naturally, we got an upgrade. In 1999, the 802.11a standard was released. This Wi-Fi standard, though not the first, was responsible for solidifying Wi-Fi as the predominant communication standard for short-range wireless computer networking. This standard operates in the 5 GHz frequency band and was one of the first to offer higher throughputs, capable of reaching up to 54 megabits per second. Not even a year later, in the fall of 1999, we were given 802.11b. This standard uses the 2.4 GHz frequency band, which is more prone to interference but offers better range than 5 GHz. As for its maximum throughput, it taps out at 11 megabits per second. Following 802.11b, the 802.11G standard was released in 2003. It also operates in the 2.4 GHz band but brought a notable increase in throughput, up to 54 megabits per second, matching the speed of 802.11A while retaining the better range of the 2.4 GHz frequency band. This was followed by the 802.11N standard, which was introduced in 2009. This standard offers more versatility than its predecessors, operating in both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequency bands. It also came with a huge improvement in throughput due to the introduction of multiple input, multiple output, or MIMO technology. MIMO is a groundbreaking Wi-Fi technology that uses multiple antennas to enable simultaneous data streams at once. This technology fundamentally changes how data is transmitted and received. MIMO works by transmitting different data packets over multiple antennas simultaneously, effectively creating several parallel streams of data. This results in a substantial boost in throughput and efficiency. The 802.11n standard can support up to four MIMO streams with each stream capable of a theoretical maximum throughput of 150 megabits per second. Therefore, with four streams, the total potential throughput can reach up to 600 megabits per second, lowering away the previous standards. The next standard we will cover is 802.11ac. This may also be referred to as Wi-Fi 5, as it represents the fifth generation of Wi-Fi technology. This standard was released in 2013 and operates exclusively in the 5 GHz frequency band, but is often paired with 802.11n to support the 2.4 GHz frequency band as well. Additionally, with this new generation of Wi-Fi, we received another massive increase in throughput with theoretical maximums now reaching 6.9 gigabits per second. And if that weren't enough, this standard also received an upgrade to MIMO as well. This upgrade was labeled as multi-user MIMO. While MIMO allows a single device to communicate with multiple antennas on an access point, multi-user MIMO extends this by enabling the access point to communicate with multiple devices simultaneously. This means that the wireless network can transmit data to several devices at once without having to switch between them leading to more efficient use of the network's capacity. Now we move on to one of our newest standards, 802.11ax, or Wi-Fi 6. 
This standard was released in 2019 and operates in both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequency bands. 802.11ax brings a significant increase in throughput, reaching speeds of up to 9.6 gigabits per second. And if that was not enough, this standard also has an increased range over other standards. As the landscape of wireless technology advances, the horizon of Wi-Fi is expanding with developments like Wi-Fi 6E. Wi-Fi 6E builds upon Wi-Fi 6 by tapping into the 6 GHz band, promising even more bandwidth and reduced congestion for future networking needs. Thus, the progression of the 802.11 standards continues from the earliest to the most recent, ensuring that Wi-Fi technology keeps pace with the increasing demands of users around the world. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.